Hello everybody and welcome to another MX Bikes video and today boys we're on the Qatar MXGP tracks is the race version obviously we're under the lights and today I'm on the 450 which is a site that is very very rare obviously yesterday's video I was on a 450 it was the default bike that bike did not have 450 power though this is the 450 YZ 450 to be exact in the OEM pack first time really on the 450s um, not complete first time, I do have to say. Um, I rode them a little bit earlier today, and then in the past, maybe I'll put them on for a race or two, but I rarely ever ride them. So this is the first time actually sitting down and trying to just feel it out. See what's good. See, see what's different. Um, before we get in the video, hit that sub button, hit that like button. We're so close to 7K, guys. We're literally, I don't even know, 50 subs away or something. So uh, if you guys have not subbed, I would really appreciate it. It's free. And I also join my Discord, trying to get to 600 members on that as well. So yeah, let's see what we can do here on this four fatty. Ooh, I rode it up the track prior, so it is a little slippery, um, which I kind of regret leaving this on. But you know what? Whatever. We gotta we gotta ride in like actual hard conditions when you're learning a bike, because you get a lot better a lot faster. All right. Oh man, I'm so scared to tuck that in. I feel like I'm going to lose the front because I heard Lynn's talking about um, the 450s are really front tucky. The front end is tough. If he's having a tough time with the front end, I can't imagine what's going to happen to me. So um, that's kind of just what I'm trying to be conscious of. The fastest time we got here is a 155. I'm pretty sure I ran a 147 flat on the 250. So if we can go under 150, I would be happy. But obviously, I'm much quicker on the 250 since... That is my bike of choice, and I've also been on the 250 for like the last four months, so I don't really know anything else, you know what I mean? So we're trying to throw on a little heater here. Love this track, by the way. Oh my goodness. We need to stay out of this E-road. The back end just is gone. But honestly, 450 is not as hard to ride as I thought it would be. Um, as far as throttle control, I feel like I've kind of not mastered it, obviously, but I'm like, not bad. Kind of just trying to ride it a gear high, really. So we're kind of just lugging around. Not having to worry too much. We're getting a second gear here. <gasps> get up, get up. Oh, I lost all the time we gained. I don't really know what the lines are on this track. You kind of see the lines that I was taking on the 250. Mm. Survive. Dude, the spike is like... I don't know how to explain it. Like, since it's heavier, um, it's a lot harder when you make a mistake. Like, the front end gets weird or the back end gets, you know, wonky. It's a lot harder to, to make a save. Oh my gee, mini. Um, with this being a sand track as well, obviously, it makes it ten times harder. Yeah, this is crazy, bro. And uh, we should try to get this quad, actually. That, I need to remind myself of that. I think fourth gear, maybe we could get it. I don't know. Third gear doesn't feel like enough, but we'll try it next lap. Unless we're on an absolute heater McGeeter here, which we're going to attempt to be on. I just need to ride smooth and see what lap we can put up. Not fast, just smooth. Let me know what your guys' favorite 450 is, because I honestly don't know. For motocross, at least. Uh, I know the KTM's decent. The Husky might be kind of good. Um, obviously, the Fantic. Um, I don't know. I think most people are on the Yamaha, so... Just thought that's just a good place to start. I'm also on the 250 Yamaha, so... It just makes sense. Oh my go. Oh, I'm in fourth gear. That was in third. Yeah, this is tough. Losing the back end a whole bunch here. We're good. We're good. We got time. We go inside here. It's probably much quicker. 
This seems to be the quickest line. Ah, uh, maybe not since it's a roller. This was a if that was a scrub right in that turn, maybe it'd be quicker. I'd uh, probably inside's quicker there though. Yeah, we're way behind our time. I'm not gonna go for it. I just know I can hit that. So 152, so I think our issue is just cornering, obviously, just because the back end keeps washing, which could be just a, a throttle control issue, which it probably is. So we need to, I'm gonna try to ride in gear this time instead of a gear high and just see what we can do. That'll probably be a lot easier to be honest. Try to stay out of the, the E road as well. It's probably a little bit of an issue as well. Pretty average start here. There you go, that's how you corner that. And then if we go. Dude, this is tough, bro. I need to hop on the qualifying version. Well, we went a while without crashing, so I'll give myself that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a bit of an accomplishment. Um, but yeah, man, especially on this track with it being eroded and it being a fairly slippery track to begin with. It's tough, bro. It really is tough. And I think if you're starting the game, maybe you're new, or you're watching this, or you want to get the game, do not start on the 450. I really do recommend starting that 250. It's a lot easier bike to ride. I can sit here and admit that every day of the week. Because I am running slower lap times, way slower lap times on this bike, even though it is much more powerful. <laughs> Actual rip in the chat. But as far as feeling, I guess it is a little heavier, a little harder to handle. Um, and obviously my setup is not like a pro setup. I kind of just made it like super quick, so I don't know how good it is, or maybe there's a better feeling on a different setup. But yeah, I mean, look at that. Like, I hit that corner every day of the week on the 250. I get on the four. It's just, it's a whole other world, bro. Hitting these inside lines, too. It's just difficult, bro. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go to the pits. I'm gonna clean off the old tires. We're gonna go to the start and we're gonna just try to run a heater. All right, hit that like button for the heater, all right? We gotta get this. We gotta get this, bro. Oh my, 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 my. Whatever, we can still, we can still run a heater. Just down two seconds, it's fine. Yeah, look at that, make it all up in one corner. It's just gonna be about cornering, to be honest, being aggressive in the corners. Sub 150, baby. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to go inside here. Huge time saver. Holy. It's doable, boys. Inside's the line. <laughs> Holy crap, I thought that was it. Blitz to the inside, get on the gas. 
almost an OJ moment. Hop, skip, and a doodah. And we run home 49 with two seconds left. We're basically back at this start here, as you can see. So, not bad. Looks like we got 147 in the old baggy, but honestly, not too bad first day on the 450. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think, what your guys' favorite 450 is, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.